how to read chemical reactions. What does it mean to describe a reaction between magnesium and oxygen like this? It reads that two atoms of magnesium reacts with one molecule of oxygen to make two formula units of magnesium oxide. Or it's gonna hold the same ratio if you consider it in terms of moles. Two moles of magnesium will react with one mole of oxygen molecules to make two moles of magnesium oxide. It's not two grams of magnesium reacting with one gram of oxygen to make two grams of magnesium oxide. This here is not correct because obviously this is going to violate the law of conservation of mass. You start with three grams, you end up with two grams. This is not correct. The ratio of mass for this reaction is going to be two times the atomic weight of magnesium, which is going to be 48.6 grams is going to need to react with one mole or one molecular weight of oxygen, which is 32 grams, to make two molecular weights of magnesium oxide, which is 80.6 grams. If you look at the masses, you will find that the sum of the masses on the left-hand side equal mass on the right-hand side. So it fulfills the octave rule. So what we get is a mole to mole ratio between the species, which is the ratio between the coefficients between each of the substances in the reaction. So you can look here, you can consider the ratio between magnesium and oxygen is one mole of oxygen to two moles of magnesium, or magnesium to magnesium oxide is two to two or one to one, right? It's basically the same thing. Or between oxygen and magnesium oxide, one mole of oxygen, coefficient is one, to two moles of magnesium oxide, coefficient is two. These uh, coefficient ratios stand as conversion factors in stoichiometric calculations. So we can do stoichiometric calculations the same way we do gram to mole conversions based on the composition of a compound. Uh, so if we consider this reaction here to make water, we will have two ratios that we can consider the ratio between coefficient of hydrogen to the coefficient of oxygen, uh, which is two to one. So that can help as a conversion factor between the number of moles of hydrogen and the number of moles of oxygen. And we also have the ratio between hydrogen and water or oxygen and water. Uh, so for hydrogen and water is to two, two to two or one to one. So that helps as a conversion factor between moles of hydrogen and moles of the product water. Those coefficient ratios are gonna help in mole to mole conversions between chemicals involved in a given reaction. So for example, if we want to calculate the number of moles of oxygen needed to react with 6.5 moles of magnesium uh, for a complete reaction, uh, you start by writing the equation and then balance it. First step before you do any calculations is make sure your equation is balanced. So it's gonna be balanced when you put a coefficient of two in front of magnesium and two in front of magnesium oxide. And from this balanced equation, we will get three types of ratios as we learned, magnesium to oxygen, magnesium to magnesium oxide, oxygen to magnesium oxide, based on the coefficients in front of each one of these substances. For each one of these ratios, we can have two possible conversion factors. We either have moles of oxygen on top or in the bottom. We have 6.5 moles of magnesium and we wanna react it with oxygen, so we will multiply it times the conversion factor that has moles magnesium in the bottom, which is this one. So it's gonna be one mole of oxygen to two moles of magnesium. So it's gonna be 3.25 moles of oxygen. Adding 3.25 moles of oxygen to 6.5 moles of magnesium is gonna lead to a complete reaction or a complete conversion of, of these two substances. These ratios of coefficients in any balancing chemical equation is going to be 
another conversion factor in mole to mole to gram conversions. So we learned before how to convert grams of a substance to moles of a substance using the molar mass of that substance. But we cannot gra convert grams of a substance to grams of a second substance involved in, the react in a chemical reaction because there is no direct conversion between both of these. The conversion has to go through mole-to-mole -mole ratio from the molar coefficients in the balanced equation. For this reaction here, in order to calculate grams of water produced, if you mix hydrogen with 26 grams of oxygen. So the first step, as we learned, is write the equation. So it's hydrogen plus oxygen makes water then balance it so we need to put two as a coefficient in front of water and that is going to make hydrogen four atoms on the right hand side and two on the left hand side so we need to put two in front of hydrogen this is the balanced equation and from this balanced equation we can correlate the number of moles of oxygen to the number of moles of water based on the coefficient ratio so one mole of oxygen is uh, equivalent to two moles of water. So now we can convert grams oxygen to moles oxygen using the molar mass of oxygen and then convert moles of oxygen to moles of water using this ratio here. This is going to give us moles water and finally convert moles of water to grams water using the molar mass of water. So we start with mass of oxygen, 26 grams, convert the mass to number of moles using molar mass of oxygen. And obviously you need to put grams in the bottom, moles oxygen on top. So one mole of oxygen contains 32 grams. Remember that it's a molecule, O2. So it's gonna be two times the atomic weight. So two times 16 is 32. And uh, that's the first step. Now we have moles of oxygen that we can convert to moles of water using the molar ratio between oxygen and water, according to the balanced equation, which is one mole oxygen is equivalent to two moles of water and the last step is convert moles of water to grams of water using the molar mass of water one mole of water weighs 18.1 grams right just to make sure that we set up the conversion correctly these units has to cancel out to grams of water at the end so gram with gram, mole oxygen with mole oxygen, mole water with mole water, and you will end up with grams of water, which should be 29.41 grams of water.